It's been an extraordinary year. Um, I couldn't imagine a more exciting beginning. The congregation has been welcoming and embracing. The leadership has been so supportive and the staff is simply the best. Uh, I think that it's been an opportunity for me to meet a lot of members of the congregation, not simply to introduce myself, but really to hear from them what it is that they would want the synagogue to be for them in their lives. Over the course of the year, I've sat now probably with six or seven hundred members of the congregation in groups of 20 to 30 and also one-on-one. -on -one. It's been an opportunity for me to learn about our members' hopes for the synagogue and how it can become more relevant in their own lives. Topics have covered everything from worship to community support groups for people traveling similar life journeys. Out of those conversations, we're already beginning to implement some very exciting opportunities. One concern that many of our members have is how to keep their own children engaged Jewishly once they have graduated college and entered the workforce. So we've actually hired a rabbinic intern for this coming year who's primary, if not sole focus, is going to be engaging people in their 20s and 30s. Our synagogue's members, children, but also children of members who belong to synagogues around the country. And our rabbinic intern is going to be traveling, doing programs all over the city. We've also hired a rabbinic intern whose primary focus is going to be working with those who are interested in becoming Jewish. Every month, at least a dozen people call looking to enter the Jewish community. If we are indeed concerned about Jewish continuity, as we should be, when people are looking to become a part of us, we have an obligation to open the door for them. So we're very excited about this work we're doing with people who want to become Jews and with our 20s and 30s on whom we count for our tradition to continue.